Hi right, guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. Now, as you can tell, we're in we're, we're in a car, right? And if you follow me on social media, you know that we got rid of the bike for a car. And if you don't follow me on social media, that sucks. You're not you're not in the loop, right? About the car. The car that we got for the bike is a 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer. Now, it does have a shit ton of miles on it. I'm not even going to lie to you. It has a lot of miles on it, right? But still works. She still gets me from point A to point B. And you know if it's a Lancer, it's going to be completely nationally aspirated. No turbo, no anything at all. But I like looking in the rear view mirror because it is a, it's a front wheel drive car. I like looking in the rear view mirror and whenever I uh, accelerate, I can see the back end going down. It just it looks kind of cool. But anyway, we do have some plans for this car. Not a lot. I just want to put a turbo on it and then I want to do shift boot and then new seats and then probably call it a day to be honest. And maybe a steering wheel just to, you know, put a little pizzazz on it, you know. But for the most part, it's not a bad car. Show you guys the cockpit real quick. So we got obviously the steering wheel right here and then we have like I told you this has a shit ton of miles, it's 180,000 miles, but it's got a new transmission and a stage two clutch, so it's like it's not bad. Uh rest of the cockpit, you got the AC and shit like that, which if you know me personally, you know that I do not use AC for shit at all. Okay. So now we go to our shift knob, okay? Nice, not bad. I definitely prefer this one over the other one that's in the glove box. I'm not hating on any of it out there, but I'm I'm changing it. It's just not me. It's just not me. Right. Okay. Got the floor mats. Right. I'm not the biggest fan of these, but I'm going to keep them in there just, just to keep the carpet clean. It's basically a, just a regular ass dash. You know what I mean? You got your hazards. Okay. Which, they do work. Oh, you can't really see that. But yeah, they do work. Um, your AC, all that stuff. And then this. Okay. I wouldn't say this guy jimmy rigged it because he didn't really jimmy rig it. Um, it's just this is connected to actually which one is this? I don't I don't know. One of them is connected to the dash cam and then the other one goes through and routes to over here and then that's what I use for my car charger. Right. And then you got like the back of it that's like right over there. Obviously as you can tell. I'm looking and I'm, I'm not looking at you guys, I'm looking at the viewfinder right now, just so I can see what you guys are actually like looking at, type of thing. You know what I mean? I would show you guys the trunk as of where the subwoofers are, but the trunk is dirty as shit. And I, I don't want to put you guys through that. I have a lot I want to do this car, but I don't have the funds for it. I do have a buddy that has a Lancer as well, but he doesn't have the same year. This is like a... This is also, this is kind of different too. I'm going to show you guys what the engine bay looks like. Because this guy, Jimmy Rigg, the absolute hell out of this thing. Like, I'm telling you, like... If you guys know anything about cars, I pray to God that the thing sticks. Because if it doesn't stick, that hood is going straight down. As you can see, that thing is not all the way in the hole. But anyway, so here's our engine bay. She is really dirty, and look at this dude. Like it's no, that's not that's not cool. Obviously, wire harnessed, right? And then you have your intake manifold down there. Before we even traded the car, the guy warned me, "Hey, the CV axle needs to be replaced and the alternator needs to be replaced." Now I was looking for it because I had never. I'm not really acquainted with these engine bays, like at all. I'm not very acquainted at all these engine bays, and I was looking at it. Alternator's right there, but so is the AC compressor. So that's a. Uh, <sighs> that's definitely gonna be a fun one if you know what I mean um, and then as for the janky part that I was talking to you guys about this so obviously you have your actually is that even the throttle body I don't even know I'm gonna be honest with you I'm not, I'm not sure but you have your intake tubing right here your math and then your actual air filter right this is so like dude what? This is one piece of piping, another piece of piping, a couplet. I ended up actually getting a check engine light uh, a few days ago, and I wasn't sure why, but I guess I kind of wasn't listening, because when the guy told me about it, he literally said, look, man, I'm not going to lie to you, this kind of janky setup, okay? I was like, what do you mean? He opened the hood, and then he showed me that couplet, and because it's not the right size, the couplet tends to fall out of the actual piping itself, and so what I did was I just shoved that bitch in there even more, and then I just taped the absolute hell out of it, right? And because I taped the absolute hell out of it, no air leaks, like, at all. And I tighten the shit out of this one, too, so that, that part's not moving, right? She is fixed, and I no longer have a check engine light on, so that is an absolute plus, okay? And then, obviously, as you can tell, this, this part's not stock either. This part is a sub, and I would show you guys, like I said, I would show you guys the trunk. I, I would show you guys the trunk, but the trunk is 
absolutely disgusting. The trunk is dirty. So I'll clean it out later and then I'll show you guys. But let me put, put you guys down again. Oh, 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 I forgot to show you guys this too. Look at this, look at this. Bro, this is the horn right here. <laughs> like, what the f <laughs> oh. Anyway, there is like a decent amount of room in the engine bay that's not being used, and I'm gonna put a fat ass turbo in that bitch. Like, it's not even fun to put a fat ass turbo. And then, as for, oh, I haven't even shown you guys the outside of the car yet. What am I doing? What the hell am I even doing? I'm sorry, I apologize. Okay, so, for the front end. There's a little bit of a light down there, right? But the I don't think the previous owner had a button because I have no idea how in the hell to actually get... I have no idea how to start it, right? I have no idea to turn it on, okay? You go to the side, right? Looks like a regular car. Boom, boom. Also, there's there's a knife, a knife, a key scratch right there, and then a little dent right here, but you know what? I ain't too worried about it. And then we do have some uh, clear coat coming off on the whole piece right here. And then, yes, I am also taking this off i already took the eye off and the o, and then i did the same thing on the other side clear coat coming off on the back of this part as well okay and then this little little wing little wings in here right little little wing right this thing is literally like look at this wait can i oh wait i can feel it moving i don't know if you guys can see that but it is moving a little bit and then we got the back the butt looks exactly like an evo right but if you're a car guy you know that evos are wider okay evos are definitely a little bit wider when it comes to the exhaust let me show you guys what is going on with this thing okay i don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see that but that's not supposed to be like that okay that's n n no when i'm literally driving i can literally hear that clanking against this piece when, when I'm driving and I, I no I don't I, I, I don't like it at all right so I want to figure out because there's my O2 sensor down there okay and then here's a hanger a regular hanger sitting right here and then the, I don't I don't need this one either I don't understand what is going on with this like listen I'm literally moving it right that's not supposed to be there okay so in other words Oh wow, look at that too. Yeah, this is a... Uh... I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think... Oh, I'm not even gonna show you guys. Look at this. Here's another hanger. I'm gonna take a wild guess and assume that this is supposed to be a dual exit exhaust. Because there was an extra hanger right there. I'm gonna be honest with you. I just barely found that out too. So, don't, don't come at me for that. <laughs> so, let me show you guys the other side of the car. So, here is the right side of the car. Okay. And it's a little bit worse, but it's like, it, it covers more, but it's not as bad. So, starts like right here, comes back up and around, and it goes through and up. Do not mind the, I almost said dog shit, do not mind the bird shit on there, okay? Coming around, and it's all throughout the whole thing, okay? And then we're missing a mirror crap. I kind of want to wrap it, to be honest with you, but I don't know what color to do. Because, like, I'm not, I'm not too big on, uh, on aesthetics. I'm more of a... I want power kind of a guy, to be honest. There's the new whip. We traded the bike for a whip. There we go. There, the, the, let me, let me, yeah, yeah. We traded the bike for a whip. You know what I mean? Point A to point B. She's loud too. I'll give you guys a cold start when it's not as windy, because it is windy as shit. We do have some plans for this car. We got, what is it, drag concepts? Yeah. I, uh, these ones are okay. If I had the option, yes, I would change the wheels. And I think I'm probably going to, but I don't, I don't know yet. I have not decided yet. That is the car, guys. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just an update on, I would say, the car collection, but I literally only own one car. That's literally it. Oh, yeah, see? Look at that. I did end up taking most of it off, and now that's this is all that's left of this part. I did take most of it. Oh, that went right into my nail, but it is what it is. Anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Um, and we will see you in the next one. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what the next one's gonna be um, Just all around this car needs work. Okay, it is what it is every car out there needs work and uh, Yeah, we'll see you in the next one Peace